welcome to the video. We got a little haul here today, just a small one. <laughs> yeah, um, wow, there's literally 82 cars before me here. No, no, 84, 84 cars. <laughs> um, this is kind of mad. Um, I will say it's not Johnny Lightning, um, unfortunately. I do need to start buying some more of their uh, that brand, but uh, yeah, this is just the boxes that they have come in, and uh, yeah, pretty big package. Um, I've also realised if I put the camera in the normal uh, place, um, you just see cardboard. I think I'm going to have to change how I film this. Ah, I didn't think this far ahead. Uh, one moment. Okay, I think that'll work. Um, so for package number one, I'm hoping I'm not going to get in the way here. We have a slightly smaller package. I've already taken the tape off. Let's shift it over. Let's get the let's get the massive one out of the way for a second. We'll start things off with this one here. Pretty well wrapped as always. These packages are all from uh, Modelmatic, if you're wondering. And it's going to be quite a few new to me things today because actually quite a few of these are first purchase for me, which is very exciting. So let's unwrap the bubble wrap. It's like pass the parcel. This I love it when you see all the boxes, the bits of boxes they give you. Green light, Hollywood series, Italian job, nice. And we got some wrapping, and finally here we have the package. Wow. A lot of cardboard. What's this as well? Mm, a Hot Wheels box of some sort. Looks like a uh, premium set box. Well, there is that. Look, I finally got that Evo. Technically, <laughs> the one in the uh, was it a Mon Classic set? Premium set. I never managed to get. But yeah, this is one of the new ones to me. I have never actually bought myself a two pack. Car culture set, yeah. We just these just don't seem to appear in stores over here, and um, so we don't really get the chance to hunt for them. You can only really buy them online, which I have done so. I've just never really seen the reason to until the last few sets are really, really cool looking. And I caught them before they sold out, which is often quite hard to do. Right, let's sweep off that bit of dust. We'll put that there. We'll have a closer look at that. I'll actually I'll take it out of the way. I was I'll destroy it with this massive box. We'll have a look at that in closer detail in a minute. But for now, let's get on with this one. Oh, big box. Uh, this is still going to be like difficult to film. <laughs> uh, I might have to raise the camera up more. The other problem is the higher I go, the more in the way everything gets. Um, right, the big one. Let's start unboxing this. You can see more than I can. I'm kind of like trying to peer over the edge of it. Chevrolet Suburban, green light, empty box. I haven't bought one of those. Spoiler alert, it's all Hot Wheels in this. Uh, right, so, oh, here we go. Straight away, look. I can't get it out. I'm too small. Let me. Ah, there we go. This one's got some stuff in. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just move this out of the way again. Yeah. Oh, so awkward. This one's got some cars in it. Trusty utility knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, got another little thingy bob here. And it's stuffed with two premium sets. Awesome. So, we've got in here. Oh wow, that's the first time I've actually seen these new ones. We've got the uh, new Fast and Furious set. This was one that I'd uh, pre-ordered, which made me wait much longer for this whole uh, <laughs> shipment to come. And we've also got, and we've also got the new, I hope I'm in shot here, the new Boulevard set. So yeah, that's what's in that box. We'll take a look at them close up in a second. We'll bring the, the beast back. Oh. And we'll start unpacking some more. Yeah, there's lots of bits of cardboard in it. I must say, he does package his stuff really well. Like, really, really well. Lots 
some more packaging and then we've got look here it is a mainline box which has some cars in it oh right just tilt the camera down i'm trying to make sure i'm staying in shot utility noise Ah, if only this was actually a stock case. So oh, shit, it is. Yes, another first time for me. Never actually bought a full stock box before, and I've just noticed this is actually the case we've been seeing. Oh wow, there's another escort. So this is actually the case we've been seeing, isn't it? Ah oh, well, I knew this would happen. I ordered this, and then because of the um, the pre-order for the Fast and Furious, this was all held for like in, all held to be sent out in one shipment, which is you know it's, it's fair enough. So uh, yeah, all right, let's get this away. We've got a little bit of a teaser. This I'm going to do in its own video because it's just a lot. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this in its own video yet. Um, I don't know because everyone everyone knows what's in it. Everyone's seen it. I'm like I'm like a year behind the people in the USA that have probably already on the buddy. 2025 cases by now, at least it feels like that anyway. And we shall return to the normal video format. As you can probably imagine, this was not a very cheap haul. I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> but this is the way it's got to be nowadays, because quite frankly the stores have been awful lately. I mean, I never actually found the Blue Evo from this set here. Which is half the reason why I've uh, bought this, this two pack here. That's very cool. Do you know, I'm probably going to have to open this. The box of this just seems... Because they've put the cars at an angle, it's just so large, it just seems silly. Um, the cars on the front, it's a nice display, but you can't... The amount of plastic in here, you can't really see the cars, so definitely one for opening, I reckon, this one. And that clip looks awesome. Might leave that for... Uh, I keep donking the microphone, it's awful. AWFUL! I'm not very good at videoing. Yeah, so I'll leave that for another video. Um, in fact, I'll probably do a little video on these premium sets as well. Just a short thing showing each car. Uh, I don't think I'll be opening them, but like... For the people that don't really want to watch this full video, and I'm not going to go into great detail here, because this is more about the haul to build up to the other small videos, if you get what I mean. I'm clickbaiting, I have no content, leave me alone. So, let's get out all the Fast and Furious cars, if we can. And I should try and do it in order. So, number one, we have this rather tasty looking E86 Sprinter Torino. Truno? Trino? I, I said that wrong. I completely butchered that. Very nice. So, it's interesting seeing this uh, Hot Wheels premium logo. I've seen people complain it's not like got a gold shine to it. Because it looked like it was going to be like a chromed out or um, like an actual gold... I don't know. It was going to be holographic or something. That would have looked very cool, actually, to be fair. Shame you didn't do it. Uh, then we got. That's not that one. That's, that's not that one. That's the wrong one. Then we have number two the Ford RS200. Very, very nice. Do you like the card art on these? Pretty cool looking. Then number three was that Plymouth. A A R Cuda. This one's got a sort of desert kind of mountain vibe in the background. Number four, this will be the hard one to find, I reckon. The Skyline GTR R32. Yep, yeah, fan favourite. Very, very cool. Actually the Torino, the 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 A E A eighty six might also be difficult. Uh, this could be, not sure, 2003 Honda NSX, oh, people do love an NSX, so yeah, quite a few uh, pretty awesome cars in this set, I feel like the the Plymouth Cuda will be the peg warmer, it's just facts in it, it's just what happens, just how it goes. Now, we shall move on to the Boulevard stuff. 
and I'll drop it everywhere and destroy everything and then cry because I've ruined my cars. No! My monies! Ooh. Ooh. Bit of broken plastic. Is that from my cars? Or is that just... It is! Oh no! How could this happen? Yeah, how could that happen? Do I complain? No, can't be bothered. I shall sit here in, in silence and whimper. For a second I actually thought I'd broken it, because I dropped it. But the broken plastic was in the stock box, so that, yeah, can't have been me. Eh, gives me something to look for, doesn't it? Is this going to be the most popular car? Oh, it's going to be one of them, isn't it? I feel like the old angle box might be... The old Anglia might be the most difficult, but I feel like this, this Porsche is going to be another one very hard to find. Oh no! Ooh, look, I can glue it back together. Perfect piece, look. I wonder how that happened, to be fair, because this is obscenely well packaged. The only thing I have noticed is there is actually a dent on this box, so maybe the main box got dropped. A hundred percent would have been a courier and not not their fault. A hundred percent. It's a bit difficult to film this, but there is also there's also some really gnarly marks on the side of this box which they were in. And I think I'm pretty sure that is the side that was in. I mean there's also a massive damage there, but it's hard to say. It's hard to say already because they could have come damaged when the, they got them in like when it was shipped to him with the Johnny Lightning stuff in, it could have been damaged and it just used the same box. It's hard to say, really. That's a bit of a shame, though, isn't it? Could have been like an easy one to find a second of. <laughs> but such is life. These things happen, don't they? There's no point bothering about it. Just move on. It's a bit of plastic. Gives me an excuse to open one of these, isn't it? This, is, this would be nice. This would be a nice one to open. But yeah, there's a Porsche 935. I think that's his first one. No, the first one was actually the Angle Box. The old Anglia Racer. Very cool. I think that's going to be a hard one to find. Again, the Porsche might be quite difficult. But the Boulevard series are usually pretty pretty hard to find anyway. They're usually very good series. But there'll always be one peg warmer. There's a Celica GT4 and the Honda Accord. That Accord looks nice. And the Celica looks nice. They all look nice. This is a cool set. And talking of peg warmers, here it is. <laughs> Undoubtedly will be the peg warmer, the Nissan Z. But yeah, pretty cool. Lots and lots of premiums, and lots and lots of joy, bar the broken box, but... Oh, turning on bubble wrap. Bar the broken box, but what can you do with that? Not a lot. I suppose you could complain, but what's the point? Not a bad little haul, that. And of course, we still got the entire B case mainline box to go through which would be awesome. But yeah, I think we'll leave this one here. Obviously, there's going to be some cool things coming up. I'll do some short videos on all of these separately, um, including opening that, and then we'll have the main line, and then we'll have the main line video as well. I'm not sure how to film that yet. I don't want to drag on too long, but I can't even get the views for it now because that box is long since passed. No one's bothered by it now, but who knows? Maybe there's a super in there. I laugh. Yeah, all in all, very, very happy with that. Uh, it is a big shame about the Porsche, but I suppose it gives me something to go and uh, look out for in the stores. So, peg hunts for that will be coming soon. But yeah, and I'm really excited to uh, look into that. And I'm really excited that I uh, bought my first mainline box. I really will never financially recover. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, I shall see you again next time. Best of luck in your peg hunts.